some people need XLR and some people need USB, where you get the best of both worlds with the F-Juice SL40, as it comes with both XLR and USB connectors on the bottom, which makes it a very versatile microphone. You get both sets of cables in the box too, plus a 3 8 to 5 8 converter, making it compatible with pretty much any boom arm on the market. It is solidly built and it feels like a premium microphone, with an all-metal casing and even metal screws on either side, which you can remove and take it completely out of its frame, but bear in mind there isn't a slot to mount this to a desktop stand, so you will most likely not want to remove it unless you have some kind of shock mount that you can slide it into. There's buttons on either side of the front to turn the volume up and down, and one in the centre to mute the microphone completely and each of these buttons are made of rubber. For these three buttons to work, you will need to connect it up using the USB connector, so if you did want to use this using the XLR, then you will lose the functionality of these three buttons. It is available at a much cheaper price compared to the more popular microphones like the Shure SMB and the Samsung Q9U, but it offers similar, if not more features than the more expensive options. You're hearing everything using the XLR connector, and it is currently connected to our Go XLR Mini, and we're using our usual settings that we always use regardless of what microphone we've got connected. The manual states that you may need to use phantom power, but we're currently not using phantom power and everything is working fine. Peter Piper pecked a pick of pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle peppers. This is the same quality when we speak into the mic from around three inches away. This is the same quality when we speak into the mic from around ten inches away. This is the same quality when we speak into the mic from around a foot away. This is the quality you will get when you speak into the top of the microphone. This is the quality when we're speaking into the side where the buttons are. This is the quality when we speak into the right hand side. This is the quality when we speak directly into the back. This is the quality when we speak into the left hand side. And then we are speaking back into the top of the microphone. We've now switched over to using the USB connection rather than the XLR. The audio monitoring on this does a very good job. There is no delay from when we speak to what we hear in our earphones. You can select the F-Juice microphone as your speaker as well. So you can plug in your earphones and listen to music directly through the microphone. Peter Piper pecked a pick of pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle peppers. Peter Piper pecked a pick of pickle peppers. Peter Piper pecked a pick of pickle peppers. We are speaking into the microphone from around three inches away. We are speaking into the microphone from around six inches away. We are speaking into the microphone from around a foot away. We are speaking directly into the top of the microphone. We are speaking into the front where the buttons are. We are speaking into the right side of the microphone. We are now speaking into the back of the mic. We are speaking into the left side of the microphone. We are speaking back into the top of the mic. If you've enjoyed the sound of this microphone, but it's still slightly out of your price range, be sure to check out this video right here, which is another F-Juice microphone, but it is a lot cheaper.